everyone. Today, I want to show you some Linux labs that we just created here at Learn to Cloud. And yeah, show you how you can kind of get hands on with a lab that is locally on your machine and run in your own cloud environments, which I, we personally think is the, the best way to, to learn. But anyway, if you're not familiar with Learn to Cloud, you can go to learntocloud.guide. It is a courseware. Now it's turning into courseware and tools, which I am very, very excited about. Uh, but its its goal is to teach you cloud engineering, outline how to learn cloud engineering in a way that you can develop the most amount of self-sufficiency. Like my goal for learning a cloud will always be how can I, one, teach the masses cloud engineering, but additionally instill in you self-sufficiency. I think, you know, Boot camps have their own place, like uh, courses have their own place, hosted labs have their own place, and a lot of them have a little bit more hand holding than what I aim to do with Learn to Cloud. A little, uh, a little, a lot of them have a little bit more of like a sandbox thing where okay, you pay our platform and you don't have to worry about the bill. Uh, I understand that too, but what I'm trying to accomplish with Learn to Cloud is it to be the closest to a real life experience. And that means you're going to have to run things locally. You're going to have to uh, deploy things to your own cloud account. You're going to, you know, if it's an $8 VM per month, then okay, that's $8 that you're porting towards your account, towards your learning versus, you know, paying our platform or anything like that. Right. So the success of learning cloud is seen like now we have boot camps using our course or our, we have schools using our course or we have people messaging us every single week that they've landed jobs because they've gone through the guide and the guide gets updated all the time. The guide that you see today will have some changes from the guide that you saw like a month ago, the guide that you'll see in a month. Uh, there's nothing drastic because obviously the foundations, the fundamentals of cloud engineering don't change significantly, but because Rishab and I, Rishab and I are essentially the two co-founders, I guess, and the core contributors, the main contributors from Learn to Cloud. We both work in the field. We go to industry events all the time. You know, we work with customers. We hear things that change. We see market changes, and then we go and we update the, the guide to, to kind of match that as well. Additionally, Learn Cloud has this uh, phase-like approach here. So we build it on top of each other. So phase one is Linux and Bash, programming, cloud platform, DevOps, cloud security fundamentals. You can outland a cloud role without having all of these, which is, and then we kind of outline them in a way where it makes sense, the progression. And uh, I think that's why it's been kind of popular as well, because it just really distills things from like A through Z type type way. Now, the difference between, uh, we recently hired uh, an intern, been working with us for a month now, and uh, we are, we're building a bunch of things really. But you can see that there's a difference between, for example, our phase one versus like our phase three. Our phase three, we have we're not gotten through updating yet. The information here is still relevant and great. Feel free to go through the guide in its entirety if you'd like. But you can see that our phase one and our phase two are getting fleshed out currently. And then our phase three, four, and five should be fleshed out. I, I you know, I'm, I'm a workaholic, so I would want to get this done. Like, <laughs> I don't know, sometime before March. But, uh, you know, we're trying to work as a team, trying to build as a team. So... We'll see, but the goal is by sometime in the spring here in the U.S., so that'd be sometime in you know March, April, May, ish, right? So the focus of this video is to talk about our phase one, Linux and Bash, and instead of going through everything, I kind of want to talk to you more about the approach that we took. We built these uh, these labs, right? So if we go to uh, let's go to our actual code of, code of the lab here. So here we are in. Uh, you go to github.com forward slash learn cloud forward slash Linux dash CTFs. These are our Linux labs. And at the moment we have oh, two different, well, I guess they're the same labs. We have one for AWS, one for Azure, and we have seven challenges, eight challenges now at different levels here. And we kind of built these and then we reverse engineer, okay, what knowledge do people need to be able to work with these? So and then that's how we wrote out the rest of this, the, the topics here right so if we go back to the beginning here we see we have a topic covering version control cloud cli infrastructure as code ssh and ctfs and recommended reading right if we go through each topic we have like study we have study we have actions and then we additionally are uh, use uh, like providing these prompts that we feel like you can leverage inside of an ai assistant kind of test your knowledge have a little bit of back and forth do a little bit of rubber ducking which is a very important skill and these are packed with like links to either official documentation or tutorials from sources that we've vetted and we trust. 
again, with our goal with Learn to Cloud is to make it as close to like a real, uh, real role scenario. And in a real role, you're you're leveraging a lot of docs. Like, oh, you're playing around with AI assistants to see how they how they they can work. Like, a lot of it is very text based, which is why we've opted to keep things text based versus like creating videos or creating like a video course or anything like that, because tech information changes so fast. So uh, we want to always be pointing to like the latest information that we've got. So that's why we've leveraged uh, pointing to to docs and things like that. Additionally, every topic will have a uh, sort of like a knowledge check and things that you should know before you can move on, right? So we have that for like all of our here. And then once you get to our Linux command line CTF challenge, it gives you a little bit more information and it tells you here, okay, you should be familiar with working with these command command lines, command line commands uh, by the time you get through all of them, right? And there's a couple of topics there. And then we're also going to have recommended reading, obviously in the Linux phase, like, you know me, I love the Linux basic for hackers book. Uh, Occupy the Web is such a fantastic educator, and I'm always going to recommend that. And there are a couple of other books that I recommend here as well uh, that you can highly, highly recommend. You go through at least Linux Basic for Hackers. In phase one, we are going to add uh, a couple of networking labs as well. We're working on that. So like I mentioned, this thing is up getting updated all the time. We had a networking page before, but uh, I want to flesh it out. So more towards here, we're going to see just more topics and then another uh, lab instruction there and so stay up to date for that but as far as the lab itself like let's switch into the linux labs here so this is actually what you're going to see uh, i'm going to make some actually we'll look here so it's a repository it's a github repository and you clone it and this gives you already uh, hands-on experience with using git with cloning things with working with a repository that was made by someone else right and the way this works is like if you have an AWS version, you'll have instructions. If you have an Azure version, you'll have instructions. But there is one one main readme, which I have open here. I'm going to minimize this here. And you see uh, you have instructions and you have the challenges. And it tells you challenge one, the hidden file. Find and read a hidden file in the CTF challenges directory. Gives you some skills that you're going to practice and a hint as to finding it. But we don't provide the answers, of course. And each of the readmes, depending on which version you're using, will have instructions for that use, that uh, lab specific, right? I just tested the Azure version. Everything is working fine. But if you do have any issues, just go to the GitHub repo and drop an issue there. Uh, so the lab will look like this. You know, you follow the instructions. You got to do apply, uh, Terraform init, Terraform apply, all that. It'll build everything. You'll see some output here. And eventually you'll see this learn to cloud Linux command line CTF and then some more information. And we also have this verify command that we recently introduced, which I am a very big fan of. It was really fun. One of the coolest things about this is like we get to play with like just stuff that we like. Like Rishabh gets to get more hands on with like Terraform and infrastructure as code and DevOps things. I'm a big fan of Bash and CLI tools. So like making this verify command, like we uh, to like verify your answers uh, built into the lab, I think was pretty neat here too. And for you all, it's an experience for you to look at like how can how can Terraform be leveraged? Like how 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 is it creating the infrastructure? I would encourage you once you go and you know work through the lab and things like that, go through the CTF underscore setup. Understand what's going on here. This is gonna change as well. <laughs> but look through it, understand what's going on here. Uh, okay, you see how there's a uh, like there's a case in here that okay, there's something is like these there's significant opportunity to learn here because it is a local environment to you. All right. What else? Okay. I guess we're just the uh, kind of future. We're working already on our programming right now, our programming phase. This is going to be very Python heavy. Uh, right now we're, we're just kind of wrapping up building and then we're going to just further reverse engineer right now. It's the capstone, uh, which people have learned a lot doing as well. Uh, but the, project and tool that we're developing now is going to be way more involved than this. And I just think programming is more important than ever. So that's why I want to make sure this, this phase is fleshed out well, and then everything else is going to get fleshed out a lot more too. It's yeah, it's exciting year for learn to cloud. Very, 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 very happy that this uh, platform is, is turning into a bigger, bigger thing. And uh, yeah, let me know any, any comments that you have, go get hands on with uh, those, those Linux labs and any issues, just go to, the issues tab here and just drop them here you can see we're already working through some issues that people have added all right that's it i'll see you in the next video